हेलो गाइस सो दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हर डिज़ाइन नेवर सम सर्विस सो बेसिकली वन वन डायगो वन मैट्रिक्स इज गिवन टू अस एंड फॉर एनी फॉर एनी सेल वी हैव टू फाइंड द टू मेथड्स ओके सो वन इज लाइक लेट से दिस सेल इज गिवन टू अस देन वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस थिंग नाइवर सम सर्विस ओके एंड इट इट हैज़ टू थिंग्स एडजेंट सम एंड डायगोनल सम सो लेट से this value sum uh, this cell is uh, given to us then we have to return the for adjacent sum we have to return the sum of these guys which are top top left right and bottom okay so for adjacent sum we have to give the sum of these uh, uh, these four uh, cells and for diagonal sum we have to give the sum of these guys which are diagonally right this 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 and this okay so these two methods we have to basically do so let's go ahead for this so in this class i am making one instance variable as grid and in the constructor we can uh, assign it like this so grid equal to we can call it let's say we can call it this dot grid equal to grid okay and also we can mention the int m and int n the size of its row and column so we can assign that as well so this dot m equal to a uh, grid dot length and uh, similarly this dot n equal to a uh, grid zero dot length so uh, we are done with the constructor now we will look for this thing adjacent sum so as you know uh, for the adjacent sum what we going to do let's say we are asked to get the adjacent sum of suppose this guy 7 then we have to get the sum of this 2 which is right top of it then this left then this uh, uh, bottom of it and the right of it okay these are the adjacent guys okay similarly if let's say somebody is asking you to the uh, diagonal sum in that case what we would use we will take the uh, sum of this 0 and this 1 and this 8 <coughs> and this 10 so basically for diagonal we have to look for the diagonal cells if available otherwise we have to look for the or uh, these adjacent cells and if the cell is something like this okay then we don't have uh, Uh, uh other diagonal except this diagonal so we have to take care of all those things so let me proceed ahead with this so first of all we have to find the cell which containing this value and uh, uh, once we find this value then we will calculate the accordingly adjacent sum so let's use a for loop so for uh, int i equal to 0 to i less than m i plus plus and uh, another for loop for the uh, rows for int uh, j equal to 0 to j less than n and j plus plus okay now we will check so if if grid of i and j if grid of i j equal to equal to value right that means we are at the cell then what we will do we will find all those uh, uh, adjacent thing okay so for adjacent we can do one thing let's say we have a die a 2d array we can make int d equal to so this would be like uh, 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 for adjacent so see here i have created 2d array for adjacent and for diagonal so see here whenever we are reaching uh, at uh, that grid so in those i and j if we add all these values okay if we add all these values there would be four different adjacent uh, thing right so for uh, this would be for left right if we uh, add minus 1 then it will go to one side left of cell if we add this thing then it would go right similarly this will go up and this will go down and this is for the all diagonal so this is left uh, top left diagonal this is uh, down right down diagonal this would be left uh, uh, diagonal and this is be upper right diagonal okay 
so this uh, uh, using these two dimensional arrays we can calculate actually these values so because now ha i have got the value now i have to find the adjacent value so what i will do i will be traverse through this adj okay so let me go through it so we can do one thing for int d of adj okay then we will get our new value so int p equal int x equal to int x equal to our i plus d of 0 okay we are adding the i value and similarly int y equal to j plus d 1 now these are the coordinates so this for loop would be executed four times right so we have four adjacent thing four adjacent thing so this is the one right so we are taking it here now we will check it okay that x and y should be in the boundaries so we can do one thing if x is greater than uh, or equal to 0 and x is less than uh, m and uh, y is also greater than or equal to 0 and y is less than n because these should be within the boundaries only then what we can do is we can do one thing or uh, let's say we have one more variable here int sum okay so we can do one thing we can create a sum variable here so int sum initially equal to 0 then what we will do sum equal to uh, this thing or uh, grid of x and y okay so finally we will get the uh, sum after reaching this grid value then we will use this uh, adjacent for loop and for the validated uh, x and y coordinate we are making the sum and then we would be returning it so here it would be return sum so now we are done for this thing and same code we can use let's say i am directly copying it only thing is we have to change the our diagonal coordinates so see here we are using directly the same thing only thing is we have to uh, change this to diagonal dag okay so now we are done with both the methods then let's test it yeah so it is working fine for for the test case first test case let me use the example test cases then we will see how does it work okay null 2345 let's check whether it is matching or not uh, null 6164 null 2345 yeah it is matching so let me try to submit it let me try to submit it yeah so it is accepted 